Hey guys, this is Dino here. I'm just going to today. My tutorial is going to be how to install um, PHP Nuke onto your um, domain uh, server. Okay. So uh, first things first, uh, there is a few things that you're going to need. Okay. So if I just open up uh, Internet Explorer. Okay. What you're going to need is you need an FTP, which I recommend um, this FTP here, which is um, FileZilla. Don't download the client. Uh, if you download, um, the, uh, I mean the server, don't download the server, should I say? Um, basically, if you um, uh, download the f uh, f uh, f the client version and obviously enter all your information that you've got from your server administration. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is you need um, the program called uh, PHP Nuke. Okay, so if we go onto the website there, right at the top there is the version that you need, so you click that there, and you click uh, download, zip or tar, it doesn't really matter, uh, they're, both, they're both pretty much the same. Okay, tar is basic if you're uploading via um, DOS commands and stuff like that and extracting via DOS commands on your server. We won't go into that though, I'm going to do this very simple for you. Okay. Uh, the next thing you'll need to do um, uh, before you get started okay, is you'll need to set up um, a database. Now I have already set up a database myself for this for the server but if you've got this option in your control panel uh, use this option as it will basically allow you to select the different options and permissions for the database. Next thing you'll need to do is uh, set up a domain name, okay, which I've already done. Okay, I've created the domain name uh, Nuke, um, uh, just as, a, as this for this tutorial. Now, um, after once you've done all that and you've downloaded the folder for PHP Nuke file for PHP Nuke, uh, you'll get it into this this uh, kind of format. Okay, this is WinRAR. I'll leave all the links of all the software you need um, underneath this video in the description. Okay, so what you need to do is extract that uh, to your desktop. Once you've opened it, just, you can just drag it out and drop it onto your desktop and it extract. Okay. Now, um, once you've done that, you'll have all these files here. Okay, now um, what you need to do is open up your FTP. Okay, uh, minimize uh, the FTP. Select all the file files inside the folder. Okay, now there's my there's my nuke folder there. Okay, that's the actual server folder that you need to drop it into. So what you'd need to do is basically highlight them all and drag them across and drop them directly into the nuke folder. Now that will take a little bit of time, so what you might want to do is actually pause this, pause this uh, tutorial um, until you've uploaded all the files and then we'll take it from there. Um, I'm going to move on swiftly though, because I've already uploaded all the files that it needs to be uploaded. So I'm going to close that down now. Okay, minimize that. The next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go onto your uh, control panel Okay, and you need to find my PHP admin, which is just there. there. Okay, so click that there. Okay, it will redirect you to your server. Okay, this is this is basically your d a database within your control panel. Okay, and there's the actual option there for uh, that's the database I created uh, earlier on. So you need to go into there. Okay, now I have already imported all the actual files that you need, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete them to show you how to import them. Okay, so I'm going to drop all these all these files here. Okay, so there you go. So I've, I've deleted all the actual files that's in that database, and there's, there's no more files um, in there. There's no more tables actually in that in that section. Okay, so I'm going to go back to PHP Nuke um, for our database. Okay, then I'm going to click the import option. Okay, you have an option there to choose uh, to browse for your uh, browse your computer for the folder that you actually need. Okay, uh, I've already got the folder selected, so I'm going to go back to my desktop. 
okay um, and you find the folder that you actually require okay so there's a PHP f uh, folder okay then uh, you go into the HTML okay and then you go into install and you'll have an SQL folder as well so go into there now you'll have a file called ph uh, called nuke and it is an sql file at the end as you can see there okay so what you do is you double select on that and it basically selects it for the server the next thing you need to do is click go okay and this will take a few moments just to import all the tables that you require for php nuke to work This shouldn't take too long. Uh, normally, it's 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 a very small file, but it just gives commands to it um, to create all the actual databases that's uh, needed. Okay, so importing is successfully finished. So if I just basically go onto structures now. Okay, those are all the actual databases that's um, in there, and it's brought them all up down the side so you can select them individually if you need to, or um, add any different things. Um, generally, I wouldn't mess with this because it it's basically complex and uh, time-consuming to actually um, work out what you need to do within the databases. So unless you've got database training, don't mess with that. Okay, so the next thing you need to actually do is go on to your domain where you created the subdomain, or if you've created it on the actual main domain, uh, just go to your main domain and you'll see all these files here. Okay, what you need to do is click the HTML box there, okay, and then you'll get this up. Okay, this basically says that you uh, the config PHP file uh, are the default ones, so there's there's nothing set up in the config file. Now, the config file basically points everything to the database that, um, that's required. So I'm just going to go next, uh, click on that to install. Okay, now this basically explains to you. Um, everything that's available, zip compression support, GD support, uh, my SQL available, PHP config, and it's writable, okay? All these files here, all these options here, safe mode is off, display errors on, uh, file uploads on, uh, so basically it, it, it tells you what it, it recommends, but it does say, say here, if it doesn't quite match, um, it's, it's okay to continue with the setup. So without further ado, I'm going to click next. This is the uh, table of content um, and general public license. Okay, so this is your license to actually use PHP Nuke. Okay, so you set up your database. Um, now, what it's asking for is all the database information. So, uh, the top one is basically saying host name. Now if you host not on your main server where you uh, have the space, um, it would always be localhost. Okay. If you're um, you've got a domain name but you've got space elsewhere, you would need to put in the recommended information there that they supply uh, from your administrator from your domain server. Okay. So I'm going to continue with this because I've already entered this uh, before. Okay. So. I've entered all my data database information. All I need to do now is click next. Okay, this will just uh, process or uh, check, see if it can connect to the database. Okay, I'm gonna basically call this site um, themes. Uh, no, and temp, um, mm, I don't know, I'll just call it test actually. I'll just call it a test site at the moment. Okay, so that's the site name. Okay, so I'm going to click next. Okay, now it's basically giving you a password and it's asking for an email address. Okay, so just pop those that information there and the site URL, which is which is that. Okay, so click next again. Okay, and that's it. That's um, your uh, that's PHP Nuke installed on your main server and um, uh, recommended to go to the administrator options there. 
and it'll basically allow you to log in as the administrator and uh, what is recommended to do obviously if you can't remember that password that was on screen um, is to change your password and um, something more simple you can do it on that main screen I didn't do it because this is only for tutorial uh, purposes but you got all your stuff in there you got auto themes you got backup DB so you can back up your database files uh, blocks admin user groups uh, all, all sorts of stuff in here you need to go through uh, for further um, help with PHP Nuke there is a full help section um, on the uh, PHP Nuke website However, I think that's it for now. Um, um, if you possibly can like, uh, well, rate, comment, and subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much.